Hello, Otter friends. Remember, this is our big book of poems. This is the front cover, back cover, and the title. The title of this book is Pickled Peppers. Now remember, this book is special because it doesn't just have one poem, it has a whole bunch of poems. And when I open it up, I see the title page. This is just to remind you of the title in case you forgot. And when I turn the page again, I see a special place called the Table of Contents. The Table of Contents tells you where to find things. Today, we are reading a nursery rhyme called Cobbler, Cobbler, Mend My Shoe. Let's check the Table of Contents to see where we can find it. I see it here, and when I move my finger up across the page, I see that it's on page 18. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to page 18. And there it is. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. This is the title and the illustrator. Remember, the illustrator draws the pictures and the pictures that they draw have to do with the words on the page. Before we read the poem, let's look at the picture and make some observations. What do you see? You might say, I see a man. What do you notice about the man? He's wearing glasses. He has an apron. It looks like he's inside and he has things on a table or a desk. Can you see what kinds of tools he's using? I see a hammer, some scissors, a needle and thread, and it looks like some measuring tape. Hmm, I wonder what he's doing. Well, what else do you see around him? You might say, oh, there are a whole bunch of shelves and there are shoes on those shelves. And there's even a cat sleeping on one of the shelves. Well, if we're not sure what he's doing, I bet we could read our poem and I'm sure we'll find out. And you know what? We made a lot of great observations and I think we're ready to read it. While we're reading, I want you to listen for rhyming words. Words that sound the same at the end. Ready? Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Did you hear words that rhyme? I heard shoe and two. They both end in ooh. <gasps> hey, we made a bunch of rhymes with ooh yesterday. What about late? Does late rhyme with shoe and two? No, they don't sound the same at the end. What about late and eight? You're right, they do sound the same at the end. They both end with eight. Do you know other words that rhyme with late and eight? I'll give you a hint. It's something that you can eat off of. And it starts with a pl, pl, pl. <gasps> Did you say plate? If you did, you're right. Plate rhymes with late and eight. Great job finding those rhyming words. Now, let's talk more about the words in our poem. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Earlier, we were wondering what he might be doing. Well, a cobbler is someone that makes and repairs shoes. So when it says, cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe, that word mend, means to repair or fix. For example, if I have a tear in my dress, I can mend it with some thread. I can fix or repair it. Or if I have a rip in my paper, I can mend it with some tape. I can fix or repair it. Let's look more closely at our poem because there are some interesting phrases in here. It says half past two and half past eight. Now, you might hear grown-ups say these sometimes. These phrases have to do with the time of day. When someone says half past two, they mean 
30. And when someone says half past 8, they mean 8.30. The half just means it's halfway through the hour. Now that we've read it a few times, we can use what we know from the words in the poem and put that together with our observations of the picture. So what do you think the person wants from the cobbler? Well, we know that cobblers make and fix shoes and in the poem it says, cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. So the person must want to get their shoe fixed. Let's see what else they say. Next they say, get it done by half past two. So that must mean that they want their shoe fixed at 2.30. But then they say, half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. So it sounds like 2.30 in the afternoon uh, is way too late. And now they want it done at 8.30. If they want it done at 8.30 because 2.30 is too late, do you think they want it done at 8.30 in the morning or at night? Which makes more sense? If 2.30 in the afternoon, and again, afternoon when the sun is nice and high in the sky, if 2.30 in the afternoon is much too late, do you think they mean 8.30 in the morning? or 8.30 at night, which makes more sense, my friends. Which one would be better? Well, if your mommy said she was going to bring you a treat today and she said she would bring it at 2.30 in the afternoon, but then she changed her mind and said she would bring it earlier, is she going to give it to you in the morning or at night? Stop and think. She would give it to you in the morning because if 2.30 in the afternoon is too late, then 8.30 at night would be super late. So the person must want their shoes finished in the morning. I'm so glad we read that poem together and got to talk about it. I love reading poems with you. You're amazing. I'll see you again later.